Hello, receiving students, eight is, and receiving teachers. Thank you, take your seat. Before we go on to today's lesson, as you saw, let us recap what we have learned in our previous lesson. In this recapping, I'd like you to do that example, receiving students in 80s. I have an example of what we have learned in our previous lesson or looked at in our previous lesson. I'd like you to find the median for the marks given. Find the median for those marks. Here are the marks received in a maths test, which is out of 10. What is the median mark? Can you find the median mark for the test results? You can discuss the answers in your group. Okay, let's correct the answers. Let's check the answer. Stephanie, uh, Anne, can you give us the answer? The median is six. Median is six. Class, do you agree with that? Yes. Okay, Stephanie, please, can you tell us how you got that? Two middle scores and divided by Divided them by two and got them again. Okay, uh, Stephanie says she got the two middle scores and then divided by two and got the median. Okay? Class, I'll just further on explain on what Stephanie have just uh, explained. When you are finding the median, the first step, you must put the scores in order. So what scores, what score should come first? Two. Second score? Three. Third score? Four. Five. Seven. Nine. Ten. Ten. This is the first score and this is the eighth score. So what is the next step after? You cross out from both sides. So the first score here will cross out with the? What is this score? The last score, which is the eighth score. The second score will cross out with the seventh score. The third score will cross out with the sixth score. So what two scores are left? The fourth and the fifth score. The fourth and the fifth score are left. So the median is between the fourth and the fifth score. So what do we do? We add the fourth and the fifth score. So what are the fourth and the fifth score? Five and seven. 5 plus 7 are the 4th and 5th score. 5 plus 7 is equals to? 12. 12. 2 divided by 12 is? 6. So 6 is the median. So that is how to get the median. Don't forget the steps, class. The, uh, the two common steps. 
in finding the media. Class, today's lesson, we will look at the last measure of central tendency, which is mean. Before we go, I'd like to introduce you to the strand. Our strand for today is change in data and substrand statistics. Learning outcome, interpret information presented statistically. And those are the lesson objectives. Calculate the mean, identify methods and steps, and define what is mean. Our lesson topic for today is on mean. Class, to understand more about mean, I'd like to give you an example. Okay, I have an example. The example is again on Michael's mark. So, our previous lesson, we, using the example, we found the mode and range, the median. Now we are going to use this example again to find mean. So, to find mean, this is how we find mean of the mark. Mean, in other words, can also mean average, okay? Another word for mean is known as average. So how to find mean? There are two steps that can be used to find mean. Step number one, we add up all the scores. So the scores are 85. 85 plus 97 plus 75 plus 85. The first step is to add up all the scores. After you add up all the scores, you then divide, go to step number two. So if you add up all these scores, you are going to get, what is the answer? 758. If you add up all these scores, you will get 758. So, 758 is the sum of all these scores. Now, the next step is, step number two, we divide the sum of all these scores by the number of scores. So, how many number of scores are here? Nine. Nine. So 758 divided by 9. What is the answer? 9. Loris, what is the answer? What is your answer? Okay, let's have Loris. Loris, can you give us your answer? 84.2. 84.2. Receiving students, I hope you got that answer. Any other different answers? Okay, if you divide 758 by 9, you're going to get 84.222 all the way, okay? So, 84.222. So, we round this up to the nearest 
No, to one decimal place. So this figure to one decimal place is 84.2. So the mean or the average for this score is 84.2. Mean is 84.2. That's how you find mean. Only two steps. You add up, the, add up all the scores, and then you divide the sum of scores by the number of scores. Now, in some cases, you might be given a mean, or you might be given a frequency table. How will you find mean when a frequency table is given? I have an example on the screen. Class, I'd like you to look at that example. If you are told to find the mean from a frequency table, how will you find? To find the mean from the frequency table, this is what we do. Two times two? Four. four. Three times four is? Twelve. Four times three is? Five times seven is? Thirty-five. Six times three is? Eighteen. Now, class, what does this mean? Two times two. What does this mean? Okay, the test results multiplied by the frequency. So, in other words, this simply means 2 plus 2. Plus, this means 3 plus 3. How many times? Four, Four times. And this means 4 how many times? Three times. So, that's what these two times simply means. The result and the frequency that, it, that appears. Number of times that result appears. So, this result appears how many times? Two times. If you expand it, it is 2 plus 2, or this frequency is appearing 2 times. Likewise, this. This frequency is appearing 4 times. So, to find the mean, we add all this. So, if you add 4 plus 12, plus 12, plus 35, plus 18, what do you get? We get 81. And then... We divide 81 by what is the total frequency? Total frequency? Look at the table. The total frequency is 19. So 81 divided by 19. So divide 81 by 19, what is the mean? If you divide 81 by 19, you will get 4.5. 
4.26 and some numbers. So, this to the nearest to one decimal place is 4.3. To one decimal place it is 4.3. Two has been rounded up to three because six is more than five. So, the mean is So the mean is 4.3, 4.3. Plus, I've just shown you two ways that you can use with, uh, to find mean. When the data are scattered, you add up all the data and then divide by the number of scores. When the data is given in a frequency table, this is what you do. So these are the two ways that you can use when, when uh, finding mean. If the frequency is, uh, data is given in the frequency, uh, frequency table, please use this method. Before we go to our today's activity, I'd like you to copy down the meaning of the word mean. So let us look at the word, um, definition of the word mean there. Mean refers to the sum of the scores divided by the number of scores. So that's what mean simply means. receiving students in 80s. I hope it won't take you that long. We will proceed to our next part of the lesson. Receiving teacher. To do our activity for today, we will use the strategy group work. And we will go activity by activity. There are two main activities only. So we will go by activity by activity. Activity one is on the screen, receiving students and 80s. I'd like you to start off with that activity one. After we complete activity one, we will then proceed to activity two. So, students, I'd like you to start with the activity one. Last five minutes remaining before we go to the next activity. Last five minutes before we go to the next activity. You should be working in groups, discussing your answers because I said that we are to work in groups.
you have a decimal number, round your answer to one decimal place. One decimal place. Answers must be round off to one decimal place. Last two minutes, last two minutes before we go to activity two. Okay, we will move to the next activity. Time up. Our next activity. What is the average of the number of children in the family? So you have to find the average of the number of children in the family given in this table. Receiving students and ATs, we have last uh, three minutes remaining before we look at the uh, answers. Last three minutes. Finish. 
What did I show you there? You have, did you see my example there? You have to apply that example. How I got that answer. So what are you doing here? The second example. Let's go. receiving students in 80s we will look at the answers let us look at the answers or so we'll start off from uh, activity one so our question for activity one the hourly temperature records recordings between 6 a.m. and noon where is given calculate the mean of the temperature what is the mean of the temperature Let's have some answers. Michael? What is the... What answer did you get for question number one? Or activity one? Michael? Michael, you give your answers and we will get other answers as well. 17.4 degrees Celsius. 17.4 degrees Celsius. Any more answers? Receiving students, I hope you give answers to your teacher. That's my calls. You are this? Okay, Cecilia? 18.1 degrees Celsius. 18.1 degrees Celsius. Okay. Let us look at what I have. I have uh, worked out mine and it's on the screen. So that's the solution or answer to activity one. My answer is 18.9. If you have got that answer, then you can mark uh, give a tick for yourself. If you haven't got that answer, please make your correction. Receiving students, if you did not get that answer, make corrections for that. Activity one. Let's have uh, Mark's group. Can you give us your answer for activity number two? What answer did you get? Three point seven. Three point seven. You are this? Any answers? Okay, Loris. Loris, what did you get? Five point three. Five point three. Okay, we have two answers there. 3.7, 5.3.
Any more different answers? Okay, Margaret, uh, Mata, Mata. Let's have last one from Mata. Three point five. Three point five. Loris, sorry, what did you say? Five point three. Okay. Now let's have. Uh, my answer on the screen, I will show you my sh uh, solution to that question. Activity two. So the solution to activity two is the mean is 3.7. If you add up all those costs following the steps which have been shown, you will come up to that answer. And I also followed that step, and I came up to that answer. So the mean for activity two is 3.7. That is the mean or the average. Receiving students and ATs. I would like you to uh, make corrections for that. Activity two, if you got wrong answer, please correct that answer. And receiving teacher, I'd like you to copy down this reference for additional activity, which is on the screen. And for the receiving uh, Moral students, I've given you the worksheet. So please, the worksheets that has been given to you, make sure you answer the activities or the exercise which are on the worksheet. Receiving teacher, I hope you have copied down that. Receiving students and ATs, our keyword for this lesson is mean. And our next lesson topic will be on probability of simple events. And the materials that you need for the next lesson are on the screen. Receiving teacher, I'd like you to make note of that materials and get it ready for the next lesson. This has brought us to the end of the lesson. Thank you for your participation.